it's coffee time. A very echoey coffee time. Ooh! Woo! It's probably always going to be echoey in this room. This isn't where I'm going to be doing coffee time, by the way, but like in general, this room is probably always going to be echoey because at least for me, I feel like if we can keep the bedroom as simplistic as possible, that would be so nice. I have never in my life had a bedroom that didn't look like just nonsense was happening. Like nothing made sense. That's always been my life. So right now, I mean, there's laundry all over the bed, which I can tell you that story in a second. But right now, knowing that when I walk in, it's like, there's my bed, there's my dresser, there's the TV, there's the closet. The end. That's like the most amazing feeling. Just like, oh my gosh, there's like room to walk and like do things. This is great. <laughs> like, I love it. So of all of the rooms, if the bedroom can stay super simple, and then areas like the office can get a little crazy because that's where we work and that's where all of our game systems are and everything else, that's fine. But if, you know, keeping this room very minimal means having a bad echo, I can deal with that. I can deal with that, honestly. <laughs> I'm okay with those feelings. Oh man, I have an ethernet cable now. And I'm so excited. So, you know, I, I, went, I went to all the trouble of making sure that when we moved in, we would have internet to the point that I myself did not have internet at my apartment for like two days, right? So we move in and we're setting everything up. We built our desks. So I set up my computer finally. And then I realized, oh my gosh, I don't have an ethernet cable long enough to reach my tower where it is right now. And Sam was like, well, how long is your ethernet cable? And it was like this long. It was so short. And I know from, from the old house, the house that I used to live in with like Mike and Ro in them, I know that I had an ethernet cable that was like long, like maybe 50 feet, probably longer than that, honestly, because the ones that we just bought are 25 feet. I think it was longer than 50 feet because it went a ways, but Man, I was looking through all my cords, all my old stuff. I was like, I don't have an ethernet cable that doesn't look like it's meant for a puppy. Like, what is this? So um, we went to the store today and got an ethernet cable and got some other stuff that we really needed, like a trash can. <laughs> my old trash can was a disaster. It was like the worst thing. And I'm trying something new another thing that I have never had in my life, which is the whole small trash can under the sink thing. I've never done that before. That's never been a thing for me. But we were looking at all the trash cans at Target and I was like, you know, I really don't want a huge trash can just like in our apartment because you always at least in my experience, I'm always moving it all over the place, just like unhappy with it no matter what. And sometimes I can't even lift the dang thing once it's completely full. I'm like, oh, time to take out the trash. I'm like, Ugh. it's just like hard and I hate it. I was like, what if we just had like a really small trash can? And that way I could always lift it. That would never ever be an issue. We would never have like food waste for very long. And we've also got the, the garbage disposal. So like, I feel like it wouldn't fill up that quickly. We're not super wasteful people. Um, so we got a small trash can. I've never done that before. I'm excited to try it. <laughs> I know that this sounds like, wow, this, this sounds really exciting, Dodger. I know, right? I'm very excited about it. <laughs> like these are the things right now that I'm just like getting really excited about. We were walking around and I was like, should we get a new shower curtain? And he was like, well, we've got the old shower curtain. And I was like, I know, but should we get a new one? And he was like, no. I was like, okay, no, you're right. We don't need a new one. <laughs> it was just like, like, why? There's no reason to have a new shower curtain. I'm just so excited about having a new bathroom. Oh my gosh, and you guys, you guys, I was able to take a bath today. The last time I took a bath, Actually, the last time I took a bath was when I visited Sam in England for the first time. But, um, like, 
I don't remember the last time I lived somewhere where the bathtub worked. Every place I've ever lived in has had a bathtub, but the bathtub has never worked. Like it wouldn't plug or something. Or like sometimes the little the little toggly guy that switches it from shower to tub like wouldn't wouldn't toggle. It would just always be shower. Like just weird things. So I've always, you know, kind of been shafted out of my out of my bath, my possible bath. And I'm not a huge bath person anyway, but that's always been, you know, a thing that it could be, but just but just wasn't. Um so I took a bath today, is really the bottom line, and it was pretty awesome. Like it plugs up perfectly fine, the water gets hot really quick, and the bathtub doesn't make me feel like I'm going to slip in and drown. Because normally bathtubs are so long and my my body length is so short that when I'm in the bathtub I'm just like slipping in and I feel like I'm just my face is gonna submerge if I'm not being careful. This tub is the perfect size for me. It's amazing, it's so great. Um I feel like there was something that I was gonna tell you guys that I'm Oh, that's right. I said that I would explain the laundry thing. So I came home today. And uh I started to go upstairs and Sam goes, don't go up there. <laughs> I was like, what? He's like, don't, don't go up there yet. I was like, why? <laughs> Do you, you know, is there a surprise? Is there a surprise up there for me? And he's like, well, I mean, if a surprise means that I went through all the boxes and bags that we have and tried to find where all of our clothes wound up, yeah, there's a surprise. <laughs> Basically, like, we reached a point in the, oh, that's right, I have makeup on. Lol, if there's a big smear, enjoy it. So, um, we reached a point in the packing everything process where it was like, anywhere that we can throw clothes, throw clothes. Because I still had so much laundry left to do, and there were still, like, weird nooks and crannies that would wind up having clothing in them, and it was very strange. So... Um, I would find clothes and I would just throw them in a bag. So we have like so many boxes and bags now that are mostly filled with like a certain type of thing and then they'll have like a couple articles of clothing or like a pair of shoes, like just out of the blue. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. So Sam like went through a bunch of stuff trying to find where like specifically his clothes, where all of, you know, his clothes wound up and our clothes in general. So now the bed is just covered in clothing. It was, it was much bigger. I was like, let's put some of these away. And he was like, okay. So we put some of them away, but there's still a decent amount and it's pretty late. I was like, Sam, we need to put all that stuff away now. And he was like, well, I mean, I can play a couple games of Dongate, right? And I was like, all right, you play Dongate. I'm going to make coffee time. And then we're going to fold all these clothes and put them away because I am not doing the whole shove it off the bed and go to sleep thing because that means the clothes never get folded. Ever. That's my experience anyway. The reason that, um, that we're home so late is because our good friend Rosty, it was his last day at work. So he threw a, a little party at a barcade. That's like what all of our friends do. When there's a reason to like throw a party or a get together, it's at a barcade. So we went to like this kind of super divey barcade that's in K-Town and uh, it was warm. It's, it's called Blipsy's Barcade and I've been there before and it's in the past, it's been me with a couple of people and then like one or two other people just like hanging out. And that's it. But man, tonight it was poppin'. And Rusty was like, what the heck? Like, why are there so many people here? And we realized not only was it Rusty's like, oh, last day of work party. It was also like a big birthday party. So both of these things were happening at the same time. And there were so many people. It was so warm. And we just, uh, we kept stepping outside to be like, well, let's talk about stuff. And let's go back inside, still real hot, okay. <laughs> it was just very strange. But it was fun, and uh, I'm glad that we got to go out and do that. We also went on kind of a food adventure, because... <laughs> so we don't really know food that's around here yet. You know, it's like a whole new area. Not a whole new area, this is, you know, it's it's a bit closer to work, so I kind of know what's nearby, but not 
not a lot of it is food, I'll be honest. It's like things that aren't food. So, um, we were getting ready to go to Rusty's thing, but we hadn't had dinner yet. And Sam was like, well, what should we eat for dinner? And I was like, well, we can eat stuff out of the fridge. And he was like, oh, I really don't want to. I've been eating like the same stuff all day. It's like, okay, well, um, how about I'll take my bath and then you hop on Yelp and see if you can find something that you want to go eat. He was like, okay. So I get out of the bath and he hasn't, he hasn't found a thing. And so we decide, you know what? Let's just drive up the street until we find a place that looks like we could eat there. So that's what we did. And it was the weirdest adventure. We were just driving up the street. I was driving slow, like slower than the speed limit so that we could like actually see what was around us. Cause you know, it's dark. And Sam goes, what about that place? And points to like the diviest drive through place. It's like a, like a drive-in sort of weird 24 hour place. And I was like, all right, let's do it. And we walked in and it's all Mexican food. Like we had no idea before we walked in. We were like, okay, drive in, you know, drive in diner sort of scenario. All right, cool. Kind of know what to expect. We walked in all Mexican food. It was the most hilarious thing. And Sam was like, do you want to do this? Is this what's happening? And I was like, yeah, we're, we're in here now. We're in line. We're not leaving. And he was like, okay. So we, we committed and man, they had some great tacos. I had a taco a taco and rice, and Sam had um, enchiladas, and we were both very satisfied at the end. We were like, man, you know, it turned out all right. And by sheer luck, we wound up being really close to where the barcade was. We were like, Sick. so good. But man, that was so funny. Just like, let's just drive. You know, let's just go. We'll just, first place, first place that looks doable. We'll just do it. It was the weirdest place. Oh God. So funny, but, but fun. It was a fun day and I'm glad we got to go to, glad we got to go to Target and get a bunch of stuff that we needed. And, you know, the usual moving stuff. I kept being like, ah, I don't want to buy this. And Sam was like, we have to. Like there, there, there are so many things that we need in the house. Moving is going to be expensive. Like we have to have this. So we've just been doing like big trips and then just splitting money, you know, just being like, all right, we need all of this stuff. Okay. Half and half payments and moving on until the next time we like can't live without something like a trash can, but it's been good. It's been going really well. We both really, really love this place. We're really happy here so far. We've only been here a couple of days, but it's just, uh, it's just peaceful and nice and the cats are happy and it's been good. So anywho, hope you guys had an amazing day and an amazing week and I will talk to you again tomorrow.